Right now, just 5.7% of all physicians in the United States identify as black, and that's according to the Association of American Medical Colleges. This is a reminder that black people do make up more than 13% of the population. Dr. Uche Blackstock is drawing attention to the impact race has on our healthcare system in her new book entitled Legacy, A Black Physician Reckons with Racism in Medicine. In the book, she explores systemic inequity in healthcare from the beginnings of Western medicine to her own experiences as a medical student and a doctor. Dr. Uche Blackstock joins us now with this book, part memoir, part, ex really, I think, an expose on healthcare. A, a book that had me crying on the airplane from start oh, to no. finish, Doctor. Fantastic, because the legacy piece here is, is your mother, yes. the original doctor. Yes. Blackstock, as you say. Talk to me both about the impact that she had on you and your sister, but also how her own health decline really helped clarify mm -hmm. for you some of the inequities we see in our system. Yeah, so I, I love talking about the original Dr. Blackstock, who was born in Brooklyn, New York, single mom, public assistance, and against all barriers, ended up going to college and then Harvard Medical School, and then came back and worked in the same neighborhood that she grew up in. And so that was the inspiration both my sister and I needed to do the work that we do today. Unfortunately, she was diagnosed at 46 with acute myelogenous leukemia. And, and looking back at her childhood, we know that perhaps she may have been exposed to environmental racism. Some of the neighborhoods she grew up in were super fun sites, and that may have contributed to her early and premature death. Some of the inequities we see in the system, right, Michael? Yeah, no, exactly right, and that's that's where I wanted to go, uh, Dr. Blackstock. Uh, my sister's a doctor, so we we have uh, these conversations uh, quite a bit, particularly around the the idea, uh, not the idea, but the reality of uh, inequities and and the healthcare disparities that exist right now for Black and Brown people remain even in the aftermath of uh, the ACA Obamacare. Uh, you still have this this uh, reality for uh, how health care is delivered and received in black communities. And that was um, exposed um, during the COVID crisis. Talk a little bit about what what that meant and, and, and how uh, some of those inequities in our health care system uh, remain and can be addressed. Right. You know, and so I, you know, I always say how the pandemic revealed the deep fissures in our in our healthcare system, especially what happens when black patients and other patients of color interface with health professionals. Often our concerns are dismissed or ignored um, or minimized even. Um, and we, we saw that happening in the pandemic, even to people who were physicians, like a black woman physician, you know, ha sought COVID care and unfortunately was, was treated with disrespect and, and, and no dignity and ended up dying prematurely. So, you know, one of those issues is what happens when black patients interface with health professionals? How can we educate health professionals to just listen. It's like simply like, just listen better to our patients, center their concerns so that black patients don't feel like they're going to war when they have to seek care and they are at their most vulnerable. Uh, Dr. Blackstock, you write in your book, there's an essay actually in this book about the Flexner report, and it talks about how, um, uh, how you discovered in the, this report amid COVID about how black doctors just vanished, frankly, across the country. Can you just talk a little bit about the Flexner report? Because I, I do think it is something uh, that flies under the radar in terms of knowledge for folks across the country. Yeah, absolutely, Simone. And it, fl it flew under the radar even for me as a practicing physician. I did not even learn about the Flexner Report until after medical school, after my training. I thought it was very important to mention in my book, Legacy, about this report in 1910 that was commissioned by the American Medical Association and the Carnegie Mellon Foundation. Essentially, they commissioned an uh, educational specialist named Abraham Flexner, who also um, had very uh, avidly racist writings about black people. But Essentially, it led to the closure of five out of seven of the historically black medical schools in the country at the time, leaving only behind Howard and Meharry. It's estimated that those five medical schools, had they remained open, would have educated between 25,000 and 35,000 black physicians. 
If you can imagine, that is such a tremendous loss to our communities, imagining the hundreds of thousands of patients they would have cared for, the students they would have mentored, the research in, in black health that they would have done. So I wanted to help connect the dots for people why in 2024, only 5.7% of black physicians are black, that it's not because there's anything inherently wrong with us, but it's what uh, Congresswoman Ayanna Presley calls policy violence. There was a policy called the Flexner Report that contributed to the low number of black physicians that we see today. Dr. Blackstock, next year you will have outlived your mother, which I know for friends who've lost parents is always a, sort of an emotional of turning point. Your decision to walk away from medicine, how does that square with the reality that we need more black women like you practice in medicine? Yes, so ab absolutely. I, you know, I left this career in, in academic medicine, which actually looking back was a life-saving decision because it was a very, for me, it was a very toxic environment. I need to be in alignment and do the work that I'm doing yeah. now around health equity advocacy, continuing my mother's legacy um, as well, but my sister is doing the same because in 2024, we actually have worse health outcomes for black communities than we did 30 years ago. So there is a tremendous amount of work to be done. I'm glad that I'm helping to amplify some of these issues through my book, Legacy. But we need everyone, all hands on deck. We need community members, policymakers to think about these issues and how we can make a difference. My friend, Dr. Uche Blackstock, thank you so much for being with us. Her New York Times bestselling book, Legacy, A Black Physician Reckons with Racism in Medicine. It is available wherever books are sold.